All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back at 7 Eleven because a couple of you, Jesse and Henry, said, Ken, you got to go back and do a hot dog because they love uh, 7 Eleven hot dogs. I know a lot of you didn't want me to come back, but I can't please everybody. So I came to 582 after taxes. I'm not sure what the bite is because I did that and a Coke. Show the logo. What was this one? Just the girls, people. Just the girls. Just for you, but just for girls. Oh. Henry also, and a, few, a bunch of you guys in the last video said I can't, they can't believe I put my Coke on the seat. But because the box was like this, I couldn't reach around and put it into the cup holder. So that's why I put it on the seat. It was fine. No harm done. So one thing, Henry, uh, for some reason, uh, this location or possibly right across Canada, 7-Elevens don't do the spicy uh, big bite, but they had the regular big bite and I also went with your recommendation of just the nacho cheese. It was funny because I don't think she's ever had anybody ask for the nacho cheese because she's like, oh, here are the condiments and there's like a, an area you can get all your condiments. And I said, oh, can I put nacho cheese on it? And she's like, okay. So I guess nobody ever has dropped by here, this location, and did the nacho cheese. Check that out. Mmm, big bite, lots of cheese. I don't think I've ever, uh, I definitely haven't had a hot dog here. Definitely, had, def definitely have not had the big bite and definitely have never put nacho cheese on a hot dog. I'm not sure what the, I'm not sure if it's just a regular hot dog, but just big, and that's why they call it the big bite, or if it's, if it's special. I didn't really check out all the different things on the menu. I just wanted the spicy big bite. All right, this is just for you and just for you, and definitely for uh, Jesse and Henry for uh, telling me to come back here and doing a dog. It smells like a regular dog. The bun's fresh, it's still hot. I can see the steam. Oh, I'm dripping. Mmm. Tastes like your regular hot dog. It has a bit of that baseball park taste to it. I think one of my favorite things about baseball uh, places is that they kind of steam the buns. It's just so, and, and there's just something about baseball hot dogs. I don't know. Maybe I'll do a review of, of uh, what's it called now? Is it called the Rogers Center still? The Sky Dome? And if it is, then we'll uh, go down there one day and do a review of their hot dogs. Mmm. It is a big hot dog. I'm not going to lie about that. And having the cheese on there, no ketchup, no mustard, nothing. They have all those condiments there, but it's pretty good with just nacho cheese. Henry, you're right. I like your recommendation, sir. I just wish it was spicy. When I asked for the spicy hot dog or the spicy big bite, she said, we don't have that, but do you like spicy? And I said, yes. And she said, I can make you ghost pepper wings. So if we get 2,500 likes on this video, I'll come back again next Monday and do the ghost pepper wings. Let's go in for another bite. Oh, from this end, you can scratch it, you can sniff it, and the rest is mine. This is not bad, what? Like I said, five, 582, and you, you have a whole lunch here, your pop and your, and your hot dog. Mmm. Really juicy, can you see the juice in that hot dog? I'm not sure if 7-Eleven has the same kind of rules as other restaurants where you put your food out and you have to have it cooking and they have to take it and throw it in the garbage after a certain amount of time. Or does it sit there all day? Let me know in the comments below. If you work at a 7-Eleven and if they have rules like that, like did they put this on at seven o'clock in the morning and now it's like one o'clock in the afternoon so it's just been sitting there all this time, or they only can have it sit there for a certain amount of time. Let me know, please. 
And the nacho cheese, oh, I almost, the, my only regret is I didn't put enough on. I should have put it, took the dog out, put more on the bottom. Mmm. This is good. Super scrumptious. Another sip of Coke. Show the logo. Hope I don't trip on my new shirt. Looks like we're gonna finish this off in one video. We got the speed up. Mm. I'm trying to think if I could eat another one of those. Probably could. You don't need to. It's just enough food. Do you think I get that all in? I think I could. Are you ready? Here we go. We'll swim it in. Here we go. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I, I think it still boggles my mind that I haven't eaten hot dogs or pizza or anything from from 7-Eleven. Well, ladies and gentlemen, on my radio scale, I'm going to give the big bite from 7-Eleven plus the nacho cheese a total recommend. Is it the best hot dog I've ever had in my life? No. Is it a great hot dog? It is a great hot dog. And I would definitely come back here and try that again. I would definitely recommend that to somebody who says, ah, I'm not really into eating a burger today. I don't want to eat over there. Don't... Go to 7-Eleven. Go check out their uh, little kitchenette and all the food that they have there. You can do wings, they got french fries, like the wedge cut things, pizza. I think I'm gonna burp. I'm gonna try and hold off, maybe. All right, guys, thank you very much for stopping by. If you're new to this channel, please hit the, the subscribe button. It is right around here. But if you like this video, excuse me, and you wanna show your support, two burps, nice. Hit it with a like, ding, 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 and we'll see you next time. Oh, three burps. Wow, that's crazy. And we'll see you next time on another Ken Domic Food Review. Ken Domic out. Boom.